Hey, what's going on friends? It's Jonathan. Welcome back to another JC production. In this video, I've partnered with Honda to showcase MIMO. MIMO is a robotic lawnmower, a one and done solution. You put in a schedule and it mows your yard for you, depending on if you have a specific yard type, which we'll get into in a little bit. It comes in two different models, the HRM30 and the HRM520. The difference is the amount of square footage it can cover as well as runtime and charge time. So during the installation process, Honda's actually gonna send out a team of specialists to install MIMO's home base. This is where MIMO can dock itself, charge itself, and then this is where it's going to take off from and start mowing your yard. Now, during that installation process, process, they're going to run a bunch of wire around the perimeter that you want to encase MIMO in. So for this yard, I have wire all throughout the fence line into the flower bed and then all around where the pool area is and then back around the fence line. Unlike traditional mowing, MIMO is actually meant to run multiple days per week. So for me, I have the timer set up for Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays from 11 to 2 p.m. That way the grass clippings are so small it can actually be used as fertilizer to help your grass grow back healthier. Other than the work timer, you can also set up various starting points for MIMO to start from. That way it could dock itself to recharge if you have a very large yard. So as you can see, it's docking from one point only in this yard because it's a smaller yard. But if I wanted to go outside this fenced in area, I could set up various starting points, especially if I had different or other docks. It also has a seasonal timer because unlike Florida, if you were up north, you experience seasons and the grass might slow down in growth. So you could set up a seasonal timer that way it cuts less often. So as you can see, my seasonal timer is set up for 100% because in Florida, we have no seasons, we have hot and hotter. The lawn setup process is actually really intricate and there's a lot of information here and tons of customization, which the installer will go over with you at the time of install. But if you want more information on all that, I'm gonna leave a link down below. Things like docking direction, wire length, and lawn size are all things that will be covered during that installation process. Once all of that is inputted, you can see MIMO will spit out a recommended work time. For me, it's 12 hours a week. Depending on your yard type and the type of grass you have, you might want to adjust the length that MIMO is cutting. And for that, you open up this little panel here, and there's a little wheel here, and you just twist it, and it will actually adjust the length that the grass is being cut. So I guess really the only thing left to do is run MIMO so I can show you how this thing works. Right now MIMO is actually cutting the grass and there's two different modes for MIMO to cut your grass in. You have auto and you have manual. Auto is gonna utilize the schedule that you assign MIMO to run while manual is like a manual override. For this cut, I chose manual. That way I could showcase how quiet MIMO really is while it's cutting your grass. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet for a minute. See if you can hear MIMO while it's cutting. Now that's pretty quiet. That means you can run MIMO in the middle of the night. It's not gonna bother your neighbors. And that's just really convenient. Now at night, it may not be the best depending on your area because of the moisture on the grass. But if you live in a very dry area, this is definitely doable and extremely practical. So while MIMO is cutting your grass, it's important for it to change patterns because if you do the same pattern every single time you cut your grass, it's gonna leave grooves and ruts in your yard and you don't want that. So what MIMO does is it switches up the pattern every time it cuts your grass. You have random, so it's going to you know, pick a pattern for you or you could do diagonal or horizontal which is really, really convenient. And if your grass is a little high, you can set it up to do a spiral pattern, which is gonna be more effective at knocking down higher grass, but it can't be overgrown up. And speaking of safety, I was just about to talk about that. A lot of people might have questions about Mimo and their kids or their pets, whether or not it's gonna injure them while it's cutting their yard. And as you can see, what Mimo will do is bump into your foot and then change direction to avoid any injury. So your pets, your kids, your grandma, your grandpa, they're gonna be extremely safe while MIMO is cutting your yard. Speaking of safety, MIMO has 360 degree sensors that not only protects your kids and pets from getting harmed by the blades like I just discussed, but also to protect MIMO itself from being damaged underneath. So if it runs over a hard object like a branch or maybe a pine cone, it's just going to stop and shut down. That way it doesn't try to cut through that hard surface and damage the blades and the undercarriage. Another safety precaution with MIMO is if it's picked up while it's running, it immediately shuts down, the blades retract so that way nobody gets harmed. As you can hear, it was beeping. That lets me know that it's completely shut down. The only way to start this thing again is by setting it down and then going into the little number pad right here. <laughs> and then entering your pen. To quickly reiterate with that pen, 
It's also an anti-theft feature. So if Mimo ever leaves your yard and goes outside of the wiring that has been put into the ground, it will do that exact same thing and shut down. And the only way to get it to start again is by entering your pin. So it doesn't do anybody any good to steal Mimo from your yard. They can't use it. One thing I want to quickly mention is that Mimo is not waterproof. It's water resistant, meaning that technically you could run it in a rainstorm. I don't really advise it, but you could if you wanted to. Sprinklers aren't going to hurt it. And you could even do a light hosing when it comes to the top. However, keep water off of the undercarriage and bottom area. Let's talk about some practical scenarios where Mimo would fit in perfectly. So if you have a house that has a predominantly flat yard, no slopes greater than 25 degrees, it doesn't pull water, no hard objects that fall from trees like pine cones or large branches for Mimo to get stuck on, then Mimo is gonna be perfect for your yard. You could save some money on a lawn service, maybe on gas or other lawn equipment. Plus it's really good for the environment. If you're a small time business owner, and maybe like a hotel owner or a motel owner, something like that, and you have small spots of grass for Mimo to cut, this will be perfect because you can run it at night when everybody is sleeping. So that's, that way it's not gonna interfere with any of your customers and what they're doing around your you know, commercial business. Another instance where Mimo fits in is as a gift, especially for your parents if they're getting up there in age and they do all of their own yard work. A, it's dangerous. B, they get fatigued quickly and they could use that time spent with family, which is way more important. What I did was I gifted Mimo to my father-in-law for those exact reasons, and he loves it. If you're interested in more information about the Honda Mimo, such as getting a specialist out to your yard for an evaluation or for up-to-date pricing, there's a link down in the description. Make sure to check there. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you think of Mimo? Do you think this is the future of lawn mowing? I, for one, am pretty impressed with this thing. I think that uh, it definitely has potential, and I can't wait to see where this is going to evolve in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos just like this, and I will talk to you wonderful people in the next video.